Hi everybody, Chef here at the Mad Lab School of Fitness. Uh, what I want to talk about today is ways to stretch our side right through here. You know, the functional fitness we practice is, is very linear. It's forward, back, up, down. Uh, but that doesn't mean this doesn't get a lot of work and needs some love, okay? So, uh, first little way I like to stretch this is I, I grab one of our trusty posts here and I get in this side bed stretch, okay? And I'm going to lean over and if I get deep enough, I'm stretching from my ankle to my elbow here, right? Uh, Mandy, can you key in on my feet there a little sure. bit and uh, they can see what I'm doing with them? Okay, and uh, when I'm here, not during the maximal part of the stretch, I can roll that hip forward, I can roll it back, getting a beautiful long stretch all through there, okay? Um, maybe two minutes aside in that. Watch the clock, don't let yourself out of it, stay in it, right? After I've warmed up on that, I'd like to come over to our trusty glute hand developer here. This is a stretch that uh, I just came up with. My hips were so sore after I played three games of golf in a row. <clears throat> three days in a row, and so I, I came up with this bad boy, and I just absolutely love it now. What I'm going to do is get in the glute hand machine on my side. And I find uh, I have this set roughly at what I would do a glute hand sit up at. Uh, for me, it's four open holes. I'm about six foot, six foot one. So that works. Okay, I'm going to get my front leg forward. Get that nice and straight. If you need assistance, you can have a box here like that, or a higher box if someone's shorter. I don't really need it, but what I'm going to do is get sideways here and just let that relax. Come on down. Tummy tight. Again, not during the maximum part of the stretch. I'm gonna roll forward, roll back. <clears throat> Excuse me, feel that out. And then I'm just gonna sink into it. Okay, getting just a beautiful pull through there. Absolutely beautiful. Okay? Stay on top of this. Do it regularly. I say start with a warm-up on the bar and then about a minute aside. Take about two weeks to build yourself up to four to five minutes aside. Uh, maybe adding 30 seconds or a minute at a time and I think you'll find a lot of freedom in your hips and back. And uh, hopefully be able to work out more often. Okay, thanks for listening. Get out if you have any questions. Catch me on the floor there. I'm happy to answer.